Hey guys, welcome to a day in the life of a Webflow designer. I usually like to start my day out by writing out my day on a sticky note, which you can see right over here. First thing on the list is we have Slack and email messaging back to clients. So we'll start out with that. We'll probably get into some Webflow development later. Let's get into it. Hot. Love hot. <laughs> All right, Slack and emails are now complete for the most part until any more come in. Errands are complete, so now it's basically just getting down to work. So there's gonna be some Webflow development work. I have a nav bar that needs to get updated and also a countdown timer on some client websites. And then also I have to send out a proposal for a new website refresh for a client that I've been working with for several years. We redesigned their website like three and a half years ago and now it's time for a new one. So I'm gonna be creating a plan, a budget, and a timeline for how everything needs to get completed for that. So I'm gonna get on those two things and then we'll see where we're at with time. Another thing I wanted to do is I wanted to share the equipment that I'm using. Now, I'm normally on a desktop and that desktop I think has an RTX 2080 Ti with an i7 processor. This one right here is an RTX 4090 with an i9 14900 processor. So if you're not familiar with laptops or computers or GPUs, this is a pretty big powerhouse. Now it's got a liquid cooler, which actually helps a lot with the performance. Now I'm not somebody who's like super big on the fact that you have to have like a super incredible laptop. If we go over here, I've actually got the laptop that I was using for the previous three years. And this one is, I think it's like an RTX 2060 with an i7 processor, which is perfectly fine for what I'm doing, but it does chug a little bit in Webflow and also when I'm doing video editing work. I've also got a Wacom tablet here, which allows me just to save my wrist as I work for eight, 10, 12 hours a day. And so it is unfortunate though, because Webflow actually is not perfectly compatible with the Wacom tablet. You can actually scroll in Webflow, which is a little annoying, but that's the computer equipment I use for my videos. I've got an FX3, which is being used to record right now. I've got a CMIT 5U microphone, which is a pretty nice microphone for filmmaking. I got it for filmmaking, but I use it for my YouTube videos. And then I've also got the Sony a7C, which is a pretty decent camera. There's some things here and there that aren't perfect, which is why I have the FX3, but I have the a7C and I use this for most of my YouTube videos up until a couple months ago. All right, just wrapping up a couple things. Once these are done, we'll go ahead and do a little workout and then we'll go outside and take a little break. All right, I know this is a day in the life of a Webflow designer. However, a lot of my time actually goes to video editing. So we've got this process here. Now this summer, I'm not actually doing a whole lot of video editing. Ceci behind the camera right now is doing most of the video editing work, which is why we created this process. And so I wanna say two things here. I'm gonna walk through this process just really quickly. Number one, if you wanna see more of this process, let me know. And number two, when I say like, let me know your thoughts, I actually want to know what you guys wanna see because I have such a diverse audience on YouTube, I honestly don't know what you guys want to see, which is why you see me experimenting with things like this. All right, so I'm going to walk through this process real quickly. We do have a Notion document where we basically just mark off where we're at in the process. I think we have like four or five videos in the works right now and a bunch others that are being prepared to be in the works. And so I'll just walk through this real quickly. We do writing and planning, filming, recording, and screen recording. Once I do these, I'm basically going to hand all these over to Ceci or if Ceci's recording, she'll just go ahead and do all the file transferring herself and put it on the RTX 4090, which I was talking about before. She's gonna be doing the clip cutting, the music adding, the color correction. We basically have a LUT to add the color correction, the clip cutting, we have a process that we go through. Music, we've got like a library of music that we kind of just reuse and then we add more as we need. Audio processing, again, we've basically just got this process down. So basically once the audio processing is done, we do a DaVinci export and then we bring it over into Premiere Pro where we create text captions, which you're seeing right on the screen right now. And then we also bring it into Adobe After Effects where we're actually adding a lot more of the graphics
graphics. So like scales up, rotations, any transitions, those are all created in After Effects. Sometimes we actually edit those in After Effects and sometimes we edit them in DaVinci. And then we do sound effects in DaVinci. Sometimes they're added in After Effects before we export them. And other times we just add them in DaVinci. And then uploading to YouTube and creating thumbnails are the final parts of the process. And we have actually gotten pretty quick at this process. I'm assuming once Ceci gets all these clips transferred onto the computer, we could probably have this up on YouTube within a couple days. Thank you.